never bad to start with a uh, love song, so we're going to do that. Start with a Shabbat love song. Page, top of page 129. Did we get that 129? You good? Okay. For those who just came in, we're on page 129. Last line. Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos to all of you. It's nice to see you. As I think some of you know, Carolyn and I were away at the end of December um, in Portugal. And I know some of you have been to Portugal. It was fascinating to see, um, it was our second time there, and it was fascinating to see some of the old Jewish quarters where sadly no Jews are anymore. But um, we all know about the golden age in Spain, which I'll be talking about a little bit later tonight. But when the Jews were kicked out of Spain in 1492, I didn't know this, they moved to Portugal. And they had a few years there before they got kicked out of there too. So the Jewish journey continues, um, and it was a great trip. I know a couple people in this room are about to go somewhere uh, on vacation. Has anyone been anywhere uh, over the last few weeks other than Napa? Where were you? Hawaii, which island? Did you have fun? Good, okay, okay. And where, Judy, where are you headed? New Zealand. New Zealand. And you're leaving within like a day or two. Okay. Anybody else? You're always on your, you're always going somewhere. I might be going to Milpitas in a couple of days. <laughs> okay, Milpitas. Okay, good. I okay. like to travel. Okay. Well, I missed you guys. Um, thanks to Gordon and our rabbinic intern, Art Grand, for leading services while I was gone. Um, and it's good to be back. So we're going to continue by inviting Wendy Ellen Cochran up to the Bima to light our Shabbat candles. And you can follow the blessing on page 120. This is better, yeah. 
Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kitshanu v'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu v'had l'ikneo shel Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kitshanu v'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu, Page 138. You know, I mentioned that I was in Portugal, and in Spain and Portugal in the Middle Ages, and in other parts of Europe too, there were these essentially show trials between the leaders of the Catholic Church and leaders of the Jewish community. There were these disputations where they would debate the merits of Christianity versus Judaism. And one of the polemics during these kind of show trials uh, in Europe was that Christianity was a religion of love and Judaism was a religion of law. And that the Christian God was compassionate and merciful and the Jewish God, big surprise, was harsh and, and um, uh, unforgiving. But we know, I mean, Gordon opened with the song Do Di Li, which is sung when? At, at a lot of Jewish weddings. And we're going to continue now with Lecha Do Di, which is a song about the marriage between God and Israel, where the Sabbath is personified as a bride. And much of the liturgy of Shabbat um, has to do with that theme of union and of, of love. So whenever you hear someone say Judaism is a religion of law, and Christianity is a religion of love, just tell them that they're wrong, because that's not the case. Page 138. And most people love being told they're wrong, so that's very good advice, I think. We're going to uh, do a melody that we did a couple weeks ago or whenever. Um, it's a Craig Taubman melody. It goes like this. Lecha lecha do di likrat likrat kala pane pane shabat ne kabala lecha lecha do di likrat likrat kala pane pane shabat ne kabala la 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 lecha lecha do di likrat likrat kala pane pane shabat ne kabala lecha lecha do di likrat likrat kala pane pane shabat ne kabala shamor v'zachor b'dibur echad hishmiyanu el hamichad adonai echad shamo echad b'shem u'tiferet v'leti la 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 lecha lecha do di likrat likrat kala pane pane shabat ne kabala Likrat Shabbat Lechuva Nelcha Ki hi mekor ha-baracha Merosh mikedem nesucha Sof masem ma-makshava tachi La-la-la-la-la Lecha do-di Likrat, likrat, kala Pane, pane, Shabbat Nikabala Lecha, lecha do-di Likrat, likrat, kala Pane, pane, Shabbat we're going to jump over to number eight. Yamin usmol tifrotzi ve'et Adonai ta'aritzi ayad ish ben parzi v'nis mechav anagi la 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 Likrat, likrat, kala, pane, pane, shabbat, nikabalah. 
The Chatzik Kaddish is on page 144. If you're able, uh, please remain standing. Yitkadal, Yitkadash, Shemei Rabbah, Biyamadivra, Chirute, Biyamlich, Malchute, Bechaye, Chon, Uvyom, Echon, Uvchaye, Dechobet, Yisrael, Bagala, Bagala, Uviz Mahan Kariv, Vimeru, Amen. Yehesh me Rabba Mavarach, the Allah Malal me Almaya, Yid Barach, Yid Barach, Vish Babach, Vid Paar, Vid Ramel, Vid Nase. Vietadar, Vietale, Vietalal, Shameda Kudashabarihu, the Ela mean cold beer hata, Vishi rata, Tushbehata vanehemata, Da amiran bialma, the Emeru ame. Please join me at the top of page 149. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch atah Adonai hama'ariv aravim. Page 151. As you taught Torah to those whose names I bear, teach me Torah too. Its mystery beckons, yet I struggle with its truth. You meant Torah for me. Did you mean the struggle for me too? Don't let me struggle alone. Help me to understand, to be wise, to listen, to know. Lead me into the mystery. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem. Adonai Elohecha, Behol of Avcha, Uvahol Nafshecha, Uvahol Meodecha, Behayu, Hadavarim Ha Ele, Asher Anohi, Metsavacha, Hayom Alivavecha, Vishinantam Livanecha, Vidibar Tabam. Beshiv decha, bevetecha, uvlech decha, vaderech, 
Uvishok Baka Uv Kumeha Ukshar Tamla Oat Aya Deha Vahayula Totafot Bene Neha Uchtab Tam Al Mazot Beteha Uvisha Recha Lemaan Tiskaru Vaasitem et Komitz Votai Vitem Kiroshim Leo Hechem Ani Adonai Elohechem Asher Hotseti etchem Me Eretz Mitzrayim Vihiot Lachem Lelohim Ani Adonai Elohechem Page 156. So the Vayahavta prayer that Gordon just led us in opens with the word Ahava or love. And the prayer essentially is about interrelating with God through emotion. This prayer, uh, Emet Ve'emunah, begins with the word Emet or truth. And this prayer, which we're going to read the translation of, is not about coming to know and relating to God through the heart but rather through the mind, through the brain, through cognitive understanding. And the liturgy is filled with that, knowing God through emotion, knowing God through the heart. Um, as the, as the uh, tradition says, we should um, come to know God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our being. So let's read the translation of Emmet Vemuna together at the bottom of page 156. All this we hold to be true and trustworthy for us, you alone are our God, and we are Israel, your people. You are our sovereign and savior, who delivers us from oppressors' hands and saves us from tyrants' fists. You work wonders without number, marvels beyond count. You give us life and steady our footsteps. You perform miracles for us before Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the Egyptians. You led your people, Israel, out from their midst to freedom for all time. When your children witnessed your dominance, they praised your name in gratitude, and they accepted your sovereignty. Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang to you together, lifting their voices joyously. Page 161. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hapore Sukkot Shalom, Aleinu Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael, Va'al Yerushalayim. Hachki ve'nu Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom, l'shalom. Hami de nu shom re nu bechayim. 
Page 164. You know, when we were in Portugal, we had one Shabbat uh, while we were there, and it was in Lisbon. And some of you may have been to, to Lisbon before. There's an old Orthodox synagogue there. It's very big, uh, has lots of security. But there's also, believe it or not, a small reform synagogue in Lisbon. And it meets in the apartment of, of someone. And we went there. There were maybe 12 or 15 people there. Um, the service leader did a great job. They don't have a rabbi. They have an Israeli rabbi who comes intermittently for all of um, Spain and Portugal to visit different reform communities. And they had me lead some of the service. I thought I was on vacation, but they put me to work. Um, and it was hard to follow some of it because the reform movement in Europe, as some of you may know, is more traditional um, in its prayer structure than ours. In fact, they used a prayer book from uh, Brazil uh, a Portuguese prayer book. And um, it was not the easiest service to conduct or, or to participate in, but one section that was identical to what we did was the Amidah. And I recognized it, and the melodies were the same, and you know, it was very familiar and comfortable. And there were other out of town tourists who were visiting, one couple from New Jersey, um, another from Phoenix. Um, and it was a really wonderful experience. Um, so let's all rise for the Amidah now on page 164. We'll do the first three blessings together and then continue on our own. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi agitahi latecha Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotenu, Veimotenu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora el el yon gomel chasadim tovim v'kone ha'kol v'zocher chasei avot v'imahot u'mevi ge'ula livne v'nehem l'ma'an shemo b'ahava melech ozeru moshia u'magen 
Baruch atah Adonai, Magen Avraham ve'ezrat Sarah, atah gibor le'olam Adonai, mechaye ha'kol atah rab lehoshia, mashiv ha'ruach u'morid ha'gashem, mechalkel chayim b'chesed, Mechaye ha berachamim rabim, so mech no flim verofe holim, umati rasurim, umikaye memunato, liche ne afar, micha mocha baaguvurot, umidomelach, melech me meet, umechaye. Umat miach Yeshua, v'neeman atala hachayot hakol, baruch ata Adonai, mechaye hakol. Ata kadosh v'shimcha kadosh, v'kdoshim b'chol yom yahalalu chasela, baruch ata Adonai, ha'el hakadosh. give you the page number but it's not in this book but a lot of it's in English from the beginning of Genesis spray sheet we'll start with the English part there was evening there was morning there These parts all work together, so you can just stay on that part, kind of like a mantra, or you can go to the next part. There was evening, there was morning, there was evening, there was morning. This part also goes along with it in Hebrew. Vai Erev, Vai Boker, Tov Meod. Vai Erev, Vai Boker, Tov Meod. And then the part we all sing together goes like this. Vai Ar Elohim et Kol Asher Asa. Vahine tov me'od Vayar Elohim et kol asher asa Vahine tov me'od Vayar Elohim et kol asher asa Vahine tov me'od Vayar Elohim et kol asher there was evening, there was morning, there was evening, there was morning, 
At this point in our service, we pause to think of those in need of healing on this Shabbat, the first Shabbat of this new secular year, healing of body, healing of spirit, and healing of heart. And we ask God to bestow the bracha, the blessing of Rafu Shlema, full and complete healing on the following men and women from our congregation or those known and loved by our community. Ilana Massey, Kevin Brackett, Michelle Camissia, Joshua Hyman, Jesse Friedman, Jim Mates, Brenda Flood, Sharon Blevis, Jerry Mautner, Kirk Whitlatch, David Rabb, Jensen Beach, Aaron Ledden, Geraldine Kokich, Rachel Sadik, Blake Battles, Michaela Cohen, Diane Rado Persile, Rudolfo Gonzalez, Tracy Adams, Joan Wilmert, and Kim Stevens. And if anyone has a name that they'd like to share with us tonight, I invite you to please do so. The Misha Barak prayer is on page 511. And let us say Shabbat Shalom, good Shabbos again, and good to see everyone after a little hiatus. So last week, this past week, we finished reading in the Jewish uh, uh, Torah cycle the book of, the book of uh, Genesis. And as many of you may know, the book of Genesis ends on a very high note, a note of reconciliation, Joseph and his brothers, and prosperity. Jacob, his father, and, and uh, the family um, uh, thrive at the end. And it follows 50 chapters of drama and dysfunction, murder, sibling rivalry, and revenge. The, the book of Genesis doesn't start out all that uh, optimistic, but it ends on a, on a really nice note. Now, the book of Exodus, the Torah portion Shemot, which we read on this Shabbat, um, begins on a much, much darker note. A new king 
And we're going to be studying this tomorrow morning at 1030. A new king, Pharaoh, arises in Egypt. One who, according to the text, did not know Joseph or the Jewish people. The Israelites have grown in number, and Pharaoh feels threatened by them. He enslaves, as the text goes on, he enslaves and oppresses the Israelites. And after several generations, their situation changes for the worse. It gets incrementally worse and worse for the Jewish people. We read about this every Passover during the Seder um, in the Passover Haggadah. Pharaoh enslaves, uh, I I said that already, okay. Um, So the situation gets worse and worse. But almost 2,000 years later, we see this pattern repeated with Judah Maccabee and his brothers, who themselves are oppressed by Syrian Greek occupiers. And then they rebel against them, and they eventually uh, triumph over them. And they rededicate the temple in Jerusalem, and that's why we observe Hanukkah to this day, as we did just a few weeks ago. But even after Hanukkah, 2,000 years ago, another oppressor comes, the Romans. And they do the same thing that the Egyptians did and that the Greeks did. They oppress, they enslave, and they kill Jews. They view them as a threat to the empire. And what happens in the year 70, after the Romans destroy the temple, slaughter the priesthood, and kill many, many thousands of other Jews, a diaspora ensues all across the known world at that time. And I mentioned we were just in Spain and Portugal. That was one of the places that the Jewish people went. And 1,200 years after the Roman conquest of Judea, the Jews are once again rebuilding their communities. And in Spain and Portugal at that time, they're thriving 12 centuries after the Roman uh, attack. They experience a golden age on the Iberian Peninsula. Many of them are affluent, influential, and educated. And who's the most famous figure from that time? Maimonides. But Maimonides is not alone. There are many other very prominent Jews um, at this time. But of course, as has happened in our history, a new pharaoh emerges, Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand. And these new monarchs, two centuries later, and in 1492, the Jews are expelled. Uh, they're, they're forced to convert, or they're expelled. And as a religious minority in all countries but the state of Israel, this has been a pattern for 4,000 years. Oppression, enslavement, inability to practice their religion freely, and then eventually um, moving on and transforming into something else. And we have survived both as a people and as a faith because we have learned after the Egyptians, after the Greeks, after the Romans, after the Catholics, to adapt, to evolve, to renew, and to be resilient, to never give up. Our external forms have changed over the centuries, but our core values, the pursuit of justice, loving the stranger, belief in one God, monotheism, have served as our anchor. And now at this time of rising anti-Semitism, of war in Israel, where Israel is surrounded by enemies, of general anxiety and fear that many Jews around the world are experiencing to this day. I just saw it in in Lisbon. Uh, It is time to hold on to those anchors and to our values, the ones that have grounded us, that have animated us for so many centuries. And may they continue to ground and animate us and transform our communities in the months ahead, in the years ahead, and in the decades ahead, as they have for our forebears for so many millennia. Can you hear own? May it be God's will. We're going to continue with the Alenu on page 586. If you're able, please rise. Alenu le shabayach la adon hakol. La take du la le otse her brishit. Shelo asano kigu ye haratzot. 
ולא שמענו כמו שפחות האדמה שלא שם חלקנו כהם וגורלנו ככל המונם ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא ונאמר והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו, ושמו, ושמו Please be seated. I talked about anxiety and fear that a lot of people are experiencing today, but it is my honor now to call up our fearless leader, the, pres the president of uh, CBS, Roberta Solomon, to share some important announcements with us all tonight. You are the king of transitions. That was great. You are a fearless leader. Yeah, there you You're go. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Good to see everyone. Uh, let me put my glasses on, because I don't think I can see this without that. All right, so tomorrow at 10.30 a.m., join Rabbi Goldstein for Torah study. It may not be summer yet, but we're excited to invite the community to a conversation with the Leo Beck School in Israel. Um, that's where our visiting teens for summer camp come from. Uh, in any event, uh, they're going to talk to us how they're doing while the war is going on. It should be a very interesting conversation. Register online for the link. It's only on Zoom. So that's on Sunday, January 7th at 10 a.m. Next, join rabbinic intern Art Grand on Zoom for adult education session to heal a fractured world. The teachings of Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs. That's on January 8th at 6 p.m. And please register online to receive the link. Shabbat, January 12th, which I believe is next Friday, will honor the Massey family in anticipation of Jordan's Bar Mitzvah on January 13th. Martin Luther King Day is coming, January 15th. CBS will be partnering with, partnering with Napa Valley Lutheran Church, the one right down the street over there, and the one that we actually shared for quite some time while the building was being built. Uh, so, um, we're going to collect diapers of all sizes and baby whites for COPE, as well as working with Be Kind to create decorative rocks of kindness to share around town. It does not, oh, and here's the time. Uh, it's going to be from 10.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Napa Valley Lutheran Church. It's next, save the date, January 19th. We're going to have a special Shabbat, remembering Peggy Dooley, and honoring Audrey Lieberstein's 99th birthday as well as all January birthdays. If you'd like to assist in the Oneg for the night, please contact Ellen Elson. Back to Shul, religious school. Shoreshim and Coffee and Chat will have their first session back post-winter break on the 21st of January. Soul Sisters will be meeting on Tuesday the 23rd at 11 a.m. in person to review everything is illuminated. And at 6.30 p.m., the first CBS junior youth group program for sixth through ninth graders will start at 6.30 p.m. The kids will have dinner and play games. Registration is required for each child. If you have any questions, please contact Mera. Tubishvat is around the corner on January 25th at 6 p.m. Join in the in-person program of Repair, Refuach, and Tikkun Alam. Lessons for Healing from the World of Art Conservation with Rosa Loewinger, author of Dwell Time, A Memory of Art, Exile, and Repair. Registration is open online. And lastly, we'd like to give warm wishes to this week's birthdays and anniversaries. Happy birthday to Paul Frank, Anne Levinson, Elaine Freed, Robert Keller, Danielle Courtney, and Martha Pascan. And happy anniversary to Jay Blitzstein and Rhonda Simon, their 42nd, 
and David and Sheila Amar. They're 22nd. As well. Oh, tw they're 22nd. That's it for tonight. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. As we near the end of our service, our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. We remember those who have died during the past year, Alan Rosen, Fred Goldman, Ann Rapson, Bob Massey, Lucille Posner, Bunny Goldstein, William Bill Lenish, Barbara Cosson, Minnie Shostak, Kevin McCarville, Etta Kessler, Faye Goldstein Glick, Diana Coyne, Peggy Dooley, Eddie Feld, Frankie Block, Joyce Bisberg, Jake Goldstein, David Mendelson, Nancy Jeanette, Alexander Buddy Cohen, Berna Joseph Sherman, Rabbi Lori Phillips, and Pearl Shine. We also remember and honor the yard sites, the anniversaries of the deaths of Arthur Waldinger, Dennis Conry, Musa Nehare, Martin Singer, Bertram Howard Johnson, David S. Eisenstark, Bessie Geller, Simone Nehare, Pearl Goodman Siegel, Rosalind Gashin, Othello Thornton, Lucille Lambert, Morton Goldstrom, Rebecca Wiedler, Rosalind Shacknow, and my uh, paternal grandfather, Sidney Goldstein. And if anyone has a name they'd like to add to our list, I invite you to please do so. The Mourner's Cottage is on page 598. Please rise. Yitkadal, Vietkadash, Me Raba, Bealma Divrach Herete Vimlik Makute, Bechayakon of Yomakon, Uvkaye de Ho Beit Israel, Bagala Uvizman Kariv Vimru Amen. Yehesh Me Raba Mivarach Lealam Ulameel Maya, Yit Barach Vishtabak, Vit Paar Vitraman Vietnase, Vitadar Vitalev Vitalal, Shme de Kudsha Berichu. Me'elam in kol birchata v'shirata, tush birchata v'nechemata, damiran ve'alma v'yimru amen. Yehi shlama rabba min shmaya, v'chaim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'yimru amen. Ose shalom v'yimromav, hu yase shalom, aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'yimru amen. May the source of peace grant peace to all those in mourning and comfort to all those who are bereaved and let us all say amen. amen. Please be seated. Before we um, recite Kiddush and Motzi and have the Oneg waiting for us, we have a final song. We're going to end with uh, Ose Shalom, the melody we've recently been doing. We're going to start with uh, Nigun. It goes like this. Oh, say shalom we are Yisrael, we are Yoshvei Tevel, we are Amen. Oh, 
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat. 